Welcome and thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you the T74 and talk about this particular illuminator. This is an infrared illuminator. So it's got an infrared pill inside which we'll talk about a little bit later on. So if you really want a powerful torch or illuminator to look for foxes and rabbits, this is the one to go for. I use this one to hunt foxes out to 200 meters. So there you go. Okay, we've got two illuminators here. One of them has been disassembled and the piece has been put in here and one that is completely together. So perhaps if I explain the parts of the, of the illuminator first, you've got the tail cap, which is the push button one, and you've got the main body, and you've got the head, and this part here is the mount. That's a separate item. You mount for this, for me, it's the weaver mount, the mounting on a top of a night vision scope. And then you've got the pill. These are called pills. Um, so you get different ones. The beauty about the T74 and the T20, you, they have interchangeable, what they're called pills. So you can have a red one, a green one, a white one, or an infrared type. So this one here is an infrared type one. And then you get the head and the little washer, steel washer that sits inside. So that's all the parts disassembled. Now I'm going to show you how to disassemble it. Well, first of all, you unscrew the tail cap and remove the battery. Now this battery is a 18650 battery. What you have to do when you look at buying one is go for a large capacity. So this is a 3400 milliamp. So it's quite powerful. Now I get a full eight hours or thereabouts of night work with this on and off that is not consistent so it is an excellent battery it's worth investing the money and getting a good one that is or has this protection part in it so that's the type of battery it takes now you've got the head now to unscrew the head you just hold the body or first of all I'll show you the zooming in and out if you notice this part here and here if I hold that main part that's how you zoom it in and out and if you notice it's moving in and out like that now it might be an idea is to use this little bit of lubricant in here because it just helps things to run a little bit smoother Okay, so what I'm going to do is wind it all the way back, like that, and then hold that with my hand and unscrew the head part here. So there you go. There's the glass, the spherical lens. Now, you've got the pill inside there, which is screwed in. Now, I've made a little device, just a piece of metal, a couple of screws in it that's sharpened to a point, and what you do is you insert it like that, you hold it and you can unscrew it. Now, if you do it this way, you can hold the pins in carefully. And I just actually rotate the whole. Here we go, go the right way to unscrew it. So I'm actually turning the whole body of the torch rather than turning the tool itself and keep on going until it just about pops out it's quite loose there and then there you go and that's the pill as you see one disassembled torch okay so i'll put this one aside and i'll show you how to put it back together again very simple it does make it easier if you've got this part screwed out all the way it's a little bit deeper so it's hard to get something in there so just before you start make sure you move this body all the way back by screwing it in like that okay now to insert the actual pill itself sometimes i put a bit of just a little bit of lubricant on there 
and if you hold it vertical and just drop it in like that hold the body of the torch and insert the homemade tool and just rotate it you'll feel if it grabs and with a little bit of lubricant it just makes it so much easier so I'm just rot rotating that now it takes a while but you feel it bite and then just a little bit of tightening up like that so that is the pill inside and simple case I turn it upside down hold the body in the glass and just a case of getting it right Here we go. And insert the battery. Making sure positive goes in first. And I put a little bit of lubricant on the threads too. And there's an O-ring seal here. And you have to put a little bit of pressure because it's got a spring switch in here. So you put a little bit of pressure until it grabs just rotate that clockwise and there you go that's all it is to reassemble the T74 torch very simple now just point on the, the batteries and the charger when you buy a charger or buy the batteries make sure you get good quality ones Firstly, and secondly, the charger itself, get a good one. This is an XTAR, and it's a multi amp hour charger, so it's 0.5 of a milliamp, 1 amp, and 2 amp. So you can change it according to the switch. And you can see I've put the positive side up there because sometimes at night when I want to charge it I can't see the negative and the positive so I'd like to put it in paint and there's a positive and you just push it on like that and turn it on that's all it is so if you think about getting a charger get a dual one and if you can um, a multi-rated ampage hour